Push that smoke. Push the smoke, push the smoke. Nice. I have a dog. I can blind sight. Wait, 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 wait. Let dog, let dog. Wait for dog. Dog or not. Evan, 120. Whoa! Whoa there, buckaroo. I can blind sight. Wait for dog. We playing a different smoke, game? Smoke. I have a dog. I can blind sight. Wait, 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 wait. Let dog, let dog. Wait for dog. Wait, 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 wait for dog, wait for dog. You gonna not trust the comm in my coordinated tactical shooter? Hell nah. I don't care if there's three seconds left on that bomb. If your teammate says jump, you just jump. You don't even ask how high. They would have told you how high if it mattered, okay? Bro says wait for dog, you wait for dog. Dog or not? Evan, 120. Dog. All thing with the dog? Almost one HP. That's a free flash. That's a free flash, Shakaroni. She's stuck in that corner, and now she's not blind. And our raise gets traded, Shakaroni. You're killing me, man. This raise is literally out here trying to call the entire retake. She's like, wait for the dog. I got to look. I'll follow the dog. We'll omen flash off the dog. And you're out here like, uh, I'm going to omen flash early. Dude. You've got God's gift of solo queue teammates right now. You know what? People have fought entire wars over the type of human beings who shot call as duelist and Valorant. These are heroes. There aren't many of these people in the world and you've got one on your team right now. And you just, he's gonna, he's gonna be so mad. People pay good money to get people like that on their team. I have one. And you just flashed early. One enemy remaining. Three, six, six, six. Honor for heaven, just go. Last player oh, standing. I've got what your happened? trail. How's it feel? How's it feel, huh? How's it feel when this guy doesn't stick? When you say stick? It feels like shit, doesn't it, Shakaretti? Feels like shit. Well, you don't deserve teammates that follow your calls. Because you don't follow their calls. It's karma. Yeah, I've literally got a clip where I tell a KO to nade himself and he doesn't even ask. He just does it. <laughs> then I res him and we get like plus 80 HP. <laughs> I can heal you if you nade yourself, okay? Oh, and then I can res you. You'll have a hundred. <laughs> it's genius. <laughs> I'm not even done explaining myself, and this dude's already thrown it. <laughs> I'm not even done talking. You'll have a hundred. See, I'm like still explaining how it's gonna work, and this dude's already like, bam, nade on the ground. <laughs> Say less. <laughs> That's the type of trust these higher rated players have in game. You could tell them to do nearly anything, and if they're a good teammate, they will. Bam. You wanna be that guy, okay? There are plenty of bad eggs in solo queue, but I don't want you to be one of them. Has this ever happened to you? Defenders win. We've all been there. But thanks to the generous members of the Knowers Club, not only can I help you get less of these, but you can even earn Valorant gift cards for successful improvement, all live on stream. Order now at discord.gg slash wuhujin, or I'm taking the world two pipe. Don't try me. I'll do it. Okay. Oh, sheesh. Sheesh. Yo, baby, stop picking this guy. Oh, you were cooking last act with her. Let's get right to the VOD. I'm, I'm giving up vents. Pick, pick up uh, heaven right now. Ooh. I get that you want to throw this smoke, but you can't throw this smoke. That smoke you just threw like loses the game. Because it's actually very similar to this smoke that you'll throw on attack. You just threw it here. Notice there's not much of a difference. Like this is the attacker smoke. And then you're out here throwing this one on defense. I'm sure you understand what this smoke is used for on attack. Because you play smokes. So pretty frequently you'll use this smoke to try and take ropes control. Yeah. And if you look at um your mini map right now, you know what'll happen if you've if the enemy team decides that thanks to this smoke they want to take ropes? You're gonna lose <laughs> big time. This round is going to go south fast. If you want to smoke mid, you need to smoke faster and it has to come here. And if the smoke doesn't come out in time, you just blame these heck of jokers. They didn't calm fast enough, okay? Raise up that. Yep. Wait, well, lucky us. Drop this race and Jet are hectic trash. Online. Clean. 26. One enemy it's lit. They pushed us. It's a bit weird to be flashing from here, but okay. Oh! 
traveling. The death trap. I'm just gonna smoke off now. No, 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 so in the event that they push B now, your sky's dead. So last round you threw with that smoke because if they went A, you'd lose. This round you're throwing with the smoke because if they push it, you're losing. You gotta be really careful with the way you're throwing these smokes. You just broke your teammates off. You want the smoke to be here so they're connected and they can fight for mid together. I really hope they don't okay. flash your sky. Okay, your sky's moving. It's lit. Now do you see how all the fights your team is getting? Man, it's smokes is so complicated. So with the smoke here, let's just pretend it's a wall because our sky is rotating. So all of the fights are, do you know in lightsaber battles where the video games will like have a displayed as a bar of like good and evil. And as you're pushing against each other, the bar moves in one of the directions. You know what I'm talking about? When the, the battle you're taking is like, completely linear this is sort of what's happening so the enemy team's lightsaber edge is here and yours is here and barring some additional force like some third route it's just going to be who can push against who harder that's all you're doing and i want you to see this type of scenario and i want you to ignore things like map geometry because while these are slightly advantageous it's bad to like rely on this I want you to associate these types of um, formations as 50-50, okay? So the moment this smoke is gone and they try to push their space up over here, you see how now we can flood our control in and they've got to control two different thingies and we can push from multiple sides and it becomes really difficult for them. So now the space is harder for them to contest. This is super similar to how when we'll be reviewing Fracture, I'll be watching a duelist and I'll tell them to rotate faster towards B. So they'll be, let's say they're A, and I'll be like, oh, well, if you're not like over here, then it's too slow to rotate because you'll be on retake. And then they got to push through a smoke and through the smoke are lots of heck and lightsabers pushing on them. However, if you look at the flank routing, do you see? It's this one solid path all the way through which is why I recommend flanking in these scenarios because they just have to take singular fights. Same idea over here. One big path. So what you're doing is you're giving the enemy team one big path when they're at the disadvantage, which is what you don't want. If you are at the disadvantage, it's fine because you want like some like goofy randomness to influence the round in your favor. They could be up rapture right now. Yes, they could be up ramps right now. I'm glad you realized that because I was about to ask why the hell you're still flowers. You're playing smokes. Smoke A main, walk CT, control heaven. Give them A site. It's fine. You got numbers advantage, gun advantage. You've recognized the issue. They can just walk up ramp on you. Just smoke here so you can rotate. Come over here. Jump spot heaven. Bam. And now the chain is good. The only thing now that you're worried about is like they shift walk all the way through A and behind you. I mean, not impossible, but like just clear that every 15 seconds and bam, you're good. Can we go for my judge at mid, dog? Yeah, they could be around. There's two mid. Cover going out. Holy shit, that's a deep mid smoke. Spike down mid. Your knife out, even though they could be ramp. Yeah. Oh no. One enemy remaining. Thirty seconds left. Spike Didn't get the bomb. It's invent. <laughs> oh, he's invent too. <laughs> she literally did come up ramp into vents, most likely. So all of this time over here, we are like kniving out. You're like dead. You're a free kill for her. 
if she happens to be over here. And she could be. You can only really drop into ropes with a flash or with a teammate if it's um, dangerous. Like if they could be in ropes right now, um, then you have to be dropping with a buddy. So because they could be in ropes right now, you really do have to stay up here. And even worse, the way you're playing like here, they could be behind you. We don't have info on Killjoy. So I really think you need to be like, you gotta be playing like here, man. Like this is the spot. Maybe even all the way like over here, just give them A and just hold this. Like if you're holding this, it's really lit. Let me try and explain it by drawing the minimap. So it's 3v1, okay? There's only one guy, which means if your sky is safely spotting here, you're safely spotting here, and your last guy is safely spotting B main, none of you can get shot in the back, okay? Let me draw the heck in the lightsabers. How do they approach this formation and shoot you in the back? They can't. There's no risk. The only annoying thing about this is you got to play 1v3 A retake if they go A. That's fine. That's fine. As opposed to what we're doing right now, which is you're here. Well, they can just come this way and kill you or this way and kill your whole team or this way and kill you. There's too many gaps. There's too many gaps. Shadows traveling. 10 seconds left. There's no time. Last player stand. Man, they did a lot of damage. And like this just demonstrates a lack of understanding, I'm sorry. Like you're saying he has no time. That's not the point of this round. If you're out here like, oh, it's lit, they can't win this round, then you're thinking about this round the wrong way. When it's one to zero, the enemy team should not be thinking about winning. They should be thinking about maximizing damage dealt to you. And when it's one to zero, you don't need to be thinking about winning the round. You've already won the round. You need to be thinking about minimizing the damage taken and winning the round. So you'd be like, Cypher, back up if you can. Like, you've, you've lost four guns and she's going to be able to plant here for money for the team. But as far as winning the round goes, oh, what the hell? Robot. Check out D. I'm leaving. I'm gonna rotate. Who do you watch? Which professional level open players do you study and take players from? Watched a few Samvads? Perfect. I don't believe you. I'm pulling up a Samvad. No way he smokes like this. Do, do, do. I mean, I've got a video, but sure, let's just grab. Nice. Let me and find honest, him honest, playing honest. flowers. Because we play flowers. <laughs> Let me find him playing flowers. Because we play flowers. Let me. Find him playing because we let me find him because let's find be all right. I'm gonna need more specifics. Which Sam VODs have you watched? This Sam doesn't play A in this VOD. Think you watched that exact VOD? Okay, then why are we flowers and throwing this smoke? That's a valid point. I'm not sure looking back at it. Yeah, me neither. I, I can't tell what we're doing. Still, it I looks can. like you're heckin' freestyling, okay? OD26 is the perfect example of this. Um, OD26 never, ever freestyles. When I told him we were playing with BoxBox Box and Haven was on the pool, he was like, yay, I love jump spotting C long. Because I put him on Omen and he's like, okay, I'll just be C all game spotting and playing my flash and playing heckin anchor flank and a short smoker to help the team you know why because that's what omens do on this map and so that's what od26 does and in the mid rounds is when you like adapt to the enemy team doing weird stuff okay but your pre-round plans have to be so absurdly consistently strong and reproducible that this doesn't make sense to me yeah like we're flowers every round man I'm I'm plan. Like, I don't even want to watch the rounds that we're flowers because it doesn't make any sense that we're flowers. Oh, it's lit. It's lit. We're B. But now what is this, though? This is not how Sam plays B. I'm rotating. Can we get some comms? What's going on? <laughs> Can we get some comms? What's going on? <laughs> They're not wrong. They're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, he just likes this angle. What? No, I got dogged. Wait. Wait, how did we lose? <laughs> Wait, how did we lose? <laughs> 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 
fighting World War Five. In hell, what the f is going on? Did you hear? Bro, so Fucking hell, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I'm just giving up A, honestly. What is this B old, bro? What the hell? <laughs> no mid game. What the fuck? Let me see the pre round. Let me see the pre round. Like, what the fuck? Didn't know that shit. Yeah. I don't think there was gonna be a guy hell. Until they stop coming. We have nothing mid though. Play someone there. We don't need anyone A. Just yeah, yeah, yeah we literally just retaking A. Yeah, yeah. I guess we'll I guess we'll mid off rip. If there be, if, if you hear B, let me know. I'm running straight to site. Push me up. Cover going out. If you hear B, let me know. I'm running straight to site. Bro, we're so dead. <laughs> Bro, we're so dead. <laughs> I'm just giving up A. <laughs> <laughs> <Got you. laughs> nah, no, you just TP's out. <laughs> you guys TP backside. I mean, I don't think you need explanation of why we lost that round. Yeah, to be clear, plenty of people play A on Omen, Ethan Flowers, and Ramps. I do it sometimes. But the way that our hero is playing A on Omen, I assure you, you won't find a singular pro. Where's that smoke? Where's the smoke? Where's the smoke? Nice. I have a dog. I can blind, I can blind sight. Wait, 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 wait. Let dog, let dog. Wait for dog. Dog or not? Evan, 120. Whoa! Whoa there, buckaroo! I can blind sight. Wait for dog. We play a different smoke, game. Smoke. I have a dog. I, blind, I, blind, I can blind sight. Wait, 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 wait. Let dog. Let dog. Wait for dog. Wait, 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 wait. Wait for dog. Wait for dog. You gonna not trust the calm in my coordinated tactical shooter? Hell nah. I don't care if there's three seconds left on that bomb. If your teammate says jump, you just jump. You don't even ask how high. They would have told you how high if it mattered, okay? Bro says wait for dog, you wait for dog. Dog or not? Evan, 120. Dog. All thing with the dog? Almost one HP. That's a free flash. That's a free flash, Shakaroni. She's stuck in that corner and now she's not blind and our raise gets traded. Shakaroni, you're killing me, man. This Raze is literally out here trying to call the entire retake. She's like, wait for the dog. I got to look. I'll follow the dog. We'll omen flash off the dog. And you're out here like, uh, I'm going to omen flash early. Dude, you've got God's gift of solo queue teammates right now. You know what? People have fought entire wars over the type of human beings who shot call as duelist in Valorant. These are heroes. There aren't many of these people in the world. And you've got one on your team right now. And you just, he's going to... He's going to be so mad. People pay good money to get people like that on their team. I got one. And you just flashed early. One enemy remaining. Three, six, six, six. I'm not for heaven. Just go. Last player standing. I've got what your happened? trail. How's it feel? How's it feel, huh? How's it feel when this guy doesn't stick? When you say stick, it feels like shit, doesn't it, Shakaretti? Feels like shit. Well, you don't deserve teammates that follow your calls because you don't follow their calls. It's karma. Yeah, I've literally got a clip where I tell a KO to nade himself and he doesn't even ask. He just does it. Then I res him and we get like plus 80 HP. <laughs> I can heal you if you nade yourself. Okay. Oh, and then I can res you. You'll have a hundred. <laughs> it's genius. <laughs> I'm not even done explaining myself and this dude's already thrown it. <laughs> I'm not even done talking. Level 100. See, I'm like still explaining how it's going to work. And this dude's already like, bam, nade on the ground. <laughs> Say less. <laughs> That's the type of trust these higher rated players have in game. You could tell them to do nearly anything. And if they're a good teammate, they will. Bam. You want to be that guy. Okay. There are plenty of bad eggs in solo queue, but I don't want you to be one of them. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I actually have another clip. <laughs> I have another clip. Of a famous one. I gotta find it. I'm on Breeze. The bomb is planted here. 
I don't have time to finish the diffuse. And my teammate, for whatever reason, says you have res. <laughs> I'm playing Sage. And so you know what my ass does? I walk over to JG's grave and I res him. And we both die to the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Let me find it. One sec. One more clip. One more clip. This clip is so good. Oh, I always follow the comm chat. I will always follow the comm. All right. Well, I got four other clips to show you guys. I couldn't find this one in no particular order. This one is uh, I'm like IGL against solo queue and JG is like in utter disbelief at how much people listen to me when I come. Yo, I'm TPing. I'm TPing B. Come be with me, please. Wow, you got everyone to come with you. I, I'm actually impressed. <laughs> hey, CT and he's a fucking demon. <laughs> okay, this clip, this is unrated, and I'm like three stacked. <laughs> I went to ask the guy for a sheriff, and look how fast he bought me. Bought me so fast. <laughs> <laughs> it was because pistol round on defense. I asked the guy for a sheriff. I asked him for a sheriff at zero zero, and he bought me one. And now we switch halves, and the dude bought me like. <laughs> okay, okay. This one, we formed a pyramid, and I'm floating on top of them with a shorty. <laughs> and this one's pretty clean. Spike down A. One enemy remaining. If that hit though, oh, imagine. imagine. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'm in the clutch in this one. Yeah, I agree. Go for the play here, smoke. You flash right side, TP on top. One Shut the f*** up. <laughs> <laughs> this guy was backseating me <laughs> all game. <laughs> I was not happy with him. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I was toxic. But that guy, that guy deserved to be told to shut up. He's like, you know the play? You flash, you TP too. He's like, chill. Let me make my play. Dude, what is it's like you're playing really well you're be heaven now you're throwing a mid smoke but then you throw this mid smoke let's see attack let's see attack the defense is bad you're yeah, winging it. it you're winging everything please don't aim at the ground okay thank you whoa let me check pre round comms my vote satchels you, you want to do the i can blind yeah. map you can satchel up early yeah, go for it. Right. I think you guys just get out really quick because they. So it's a courtesy to tell the duelist, call my flash. If they don't call your flash, you want to throw it when they cross this line. Uh, you're throwing it way too early. When you throw it this early. So what's going to happen when this guy gets flashed? Okay, they're going to go this way and they're going to try and get ropes to safety. Okay, we understand that that's going to happen when you throw the flash. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to kill this guy as they're doing this, right? We're trying to get our rays, peeking them as they're running away, blasting them. Problem is, with the timing of your flash, you're throwing it so fast that this guy starts running away, like, immediately. And your rays does not catch them. Jing himself does not catch this guy. Ideally, we're hoping they wait here for like a second or two, and then they start running away. And that happens... If you throw the flash when your buddy crosses this line. Okay, this is a bit backwards. I'm going A right now. I, I might be able to get a bit. Just play slow, play slow, play slow. The split play, when you don't know what to do, is this. Yo, guys, I'm going to smoke off mail. We're going to take ropes control. And then we're going to reset. When the smoke expires, we'll decide if we want A or B. If you smoke like this, you take ropes. You have a buddy. You drop into ropes together. Blow bam. If there's somebody here, you lay them out, you grab their gun, and now you reset. Now you can either go A or B, and it's all contextual and depends on what you've seen and what you've heard. But the point is you've established mid control. Ropes is like part of mid, 
male is like part of bee heaven. I don't know how to explain it other than that's just how it is. And I think it's because ropes has direct line of sight of mid while male does not. If we were to like color code mid, I think I would color code it sort of like this. And then I would say that this is sort of bee heaven. And this is sort of like neutral and then a heaven. So I think to establish mid control, you do need control of this area. And a lot of people will just smoke it. But the problem with just smoking it for mid control is you're kind of committing yourselves to the B routing. Okay, so look at the mini map. You can see, of course, we're playing double controller, but we've got the um, male and rope smokes or stars ready to go. And on average, the male smoke comes first, you see? Because you want to contest ropes initially to establish mid control. So they smoke male, and now they're using this star here, not to smoke ropes, but to potentially concuss or seize ropes. And so they're going to take ropes control, and it's going to be really hard for these B Heaven players to fight back. And this is why I really didn't like your smokes on defense when you were smoking here. Okay. So this breach almost feels obligated to drop into ropes. You see? And now look at the minimap. Mid control. Bam. Now that we have mid control, we reset and we can decide, are we going to hit B or are we going to hit A? And we have both options available because Viper's taking A space, Astro's taking B space. Now, of course, in solo queue, it's not going to be this clean. Never should be. That's fine. But the, the specific pattern for taking mid control, you should take into your solo queue games. Dead. I'm blind. He's open. Enemy okay okay so while i'm planting we're different i'm asking sky if she has a flash if yes i'm tp'ing rafters and i will push through with it because our poor cypher needs to get connected Reloading. and we know that the enemy omen is heaven we wrapped do we need to just hold, just hold <laughs> knuckles you piece yeah, yeah. do we need to fight screens now however knuckles is kind of the goat knuckles do be following the call uh, knuckles doesn't like the call but knuckles follows the call need to push there. you should literally when knuckles says you don't need to push there in a four on two i need you to learn the following phrase you're right i got dizzy anytime a teammate says you should have done this he's like you're right i got dizzy you're right. I got dizzy. If you can learn to say this phrase every time a teammate corrects you, your win rate will go up 3%. Like, guaranteed. You know why? Because these dudes will like you more. It's th like, they're not looking to argue about the screen's push. They didn't like it, and they want validation that they didn't like it. So you just be like, oh, you're right. If you've ever watched Tarek, this is why the dude gets like 8 billion viewers. He's so good at being a good teammate. I'm pulling up, Um, he was playing Fracture yesterday. He's such a homie of a teammate. It's like, you always want this guy on your team. Okay, it was Oni lost them around on attack. One enemy remaining. Hey man, uh, hit 40, hit 40. Standing. That's safe. It's fun to serve. No, 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 no. Okay, so Oni dies, right? Now watch, watch what transpires. Look at chat and then look at Derek. Oh. Nice try, bro. 120. Nice try. Bro, these kids are shit. Don't worry. We're going to win this game. I'm getting a next next half. I'm saving pistol around to get it up. I won't buy a pistol. <laughs> so these like dicks in chat are trash talking Odi. And the average solo queue player, when you whiff like that, is like, dude, how'd you lose that? You know, Tarek is like, nice try. Hit 120. And Odi's like 80. And Tarek's like, oh, nice try. The guy trash talks. He's like, oh, f those guys, Odi. Next round, you know what? I'm buying it up. These guys. He's like on your side, always. If Oni calls out Tarek for a bad play, Tarek be like, ah, oh, you think? Damn, yeah, you're probably right. And in the back of Tarek's head, he might be like, this guy's dumb. This guy's dumb. And he's wrong. But he never will say that. That's he, You always want this guy on your team. He's a great teammate. He's close. Dead. Ooh. One heaven. One heaven. Yeah, so the comm you need to make when you're here and you're teammates in front of you is very simple phrase i'm behind you or i'm with you you literally just like give her the assurance that you're gonna peek with her be like raise i'm with you i'm ready to peek and she's gonna feel so much more confident because the way she peeks is a bit a bit suboptimal actually as you can see she's walking like a bit w and it's because she's being really safe so you might be able to inspire some more confidence here and increase your odds of winning this fight dead one heaven 
What happened? Dead. Okay, we Need just play sight. Don't, don't gotta peek at him. Just, just hold right now. It's fine. Yep. Yeah. Blind. Cover going Two heaven. They pushed up on you. This guy's heaven. Player standing. Nice. Good try. Okay, we leave. He's going on. Yeah, that's okay. We we hit this woman. He smoked it. Uh, uh, Sky, come heal, here, come heal here. our cipher. Sky, come heal cipher. Yo, you want to tell them that there's a sheriff, a ram? Here we go. Jets, jet vent. Yeah, go for it. Keep back there right now. Okay, okay, Holy shit, it. you should have vaulted. They could be walking on you, know? Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> Wait, they could cancel this there? whole. Yeah. Oh my god. Nidium? I'm getting out. You got a TP across here, dude. No, 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 no. Chacaroni! That's a sheriff holding you, and you know it. TP across. You're winning this goddamn round. But if you die here, look, you're positioned perfectly. You're going to be the late mid lurk, which is super essential on this map. But if you die, it's 5v4, enemy favor, and they get a vandal, a killjoy ult. Now you're the late mid lurk, and it's lit. Tough. Wait, who's that? Jet and who? Jet and who mid? No one's coming, lol. Alright, I'm slurking CT. Cover going out. Shadows traveling. I'm just gonna get out, blinding honestly. Bye, just screw it. Yeah, blind it. I'm out. Could be elbow. Elbow, 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 elbow. elbow. They are, they are. Yep, 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 yep. I'm going slow. Blind. Spike down A. Drop slow. Yeah, I mean, you're kind of just. You're kind of just bad for dying to this. I don't know how to. Shakaroni, this is your problem. Is that you don't understand how like high level Valorant is played. Like this is such an obvious flash in my head because first of all, she info flashed us A. We know she's A side. And second of all, if you've like studied any sky on um this map on defense, oh, I actually don't have the um playbook in my Valo plant. These green boxes are where skies like to play to play their flashes. And like this smoke is just, it's just one of them. Like the reason why you have to know this, and I, I wouldn't expect a duelist player to know this. I'd forgive a duelist player. The reason why you have to know this is because it's directly utilizing your utility. You have to understand how your smokes interact with the enemy team because smokes are neutral ability. Omen smoke is completely neutral. This could have been thrown by either Omen, right? Like we don't know. The only way we can guess is based off of where it is. Like a smoke here, probably a defender smoke. Not ready yet. Okay, a smoke here, probably an attacker smoke. But as you've shown us, not always an attacker smoke. You've thrown this smoke on defense. Smokes are neutral. So when you throw the smoke, the onus is on you to understand that you're giving this sky and an enemy phoenix if they have one. An easy, easy, easy way to get way up here and play a pop flash because this is a giga flash zone. And she can flash and come out. As we just saw, you have to be aware of that because you're the smoker. Um, nitpick. If you're gonna hold this, take one step. Just because, um, like if people know where to wall bang, then you're in a lot of trouble being right up against the wall. So take one step and you're chilling. Um, the lineup, by the way, chat, is you see this dot. And this vertical line you want to aim along that dot a bit to the right of the vertical line the bullets come right here can i get heals guy Ooh. okay i got bad news for you sir planting default on split is like subtracting a man from your team Shit, just stay alive you're lucky this raise naded you i'm not gonna lie if i was watching this raise this vod i'd call that a bad nade Cause she should just hold her nade for right here and they retake and beat your asses down. Yeah, I gotta get healed. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Holy cow. We plant default anyways. Evan. Last player standing. Just hold hold space safe. Okay, we're, we're gonna pinch with you. I'm rotating in spawn towards I'm gonna bot through this. Let me bot. Okay. 
<laughs> You've like accidentally done a good smoke. Oh, they're but they're not here. They just dogged it. Needing CT. Needing CT. Let's get out. Spawn. Spawn, spawn, spawn. <laughs> you literally just you literally just smoked male, took ropes control, smoke expired, and you're splitting B. It's literally the perfect hit, and you didn't even mean to do it. Okay, backside. Okay, just backside. Dead. And look how much easier this round is. It's not yeah, even funny, right? You see the happy little accident? Look how free this is now. Oh my wire. You're good, you're good. Planted. Oh, well, too bad you whipped oh, no, out your back flash. Back, pillar, pillar, pillar. Baited your raise. Guy pillar. But it doesn't even matter. Your post play is so advantageous here. General, okay. Initial plans deviate tremendously from high level play think of it like chess openings trying to create your own will seriously limit your potential the problem should be much more vocal when you are behind teammates to higher confidence and to swing do, do, do. alongside initial studying provots for plans pay attention to how the Enemy team tries to play around your smokes as well. Smokes are not just that positive. Pretty complicated notes, I'm not gonna lie. But your VOD is demonstrating like you've got good fundamentals, your mechanics are not bad, your comms are not bad. You're not thinking about Valorant in like a radiant mindset, and it's really holding you back. A lot of your smokes are bad, and the way you're playing around your own smokes is bad. So it's a tough thing to fix.